Ricardo Montalban, who's also a great actor and a friend. Ricardo Montalban and I became good friends with Tony Quinn. Now, you got to know Tony Quinn. You say to Tony Quinn, how do you feel, Tony? Uh, you know, uh, it's a great day. It's a great day. You, uh, sun's out. It's a great day. I'd say, take it easy, Tony. You know, I always, I, thought, I always thought he wanted to kill somebody. I'd say, you know, Tony, uh, let's take a walk in the park. A walk in the park? Yeah. It's a good idea. <laughs> and he would drink. In those days, we used to drink with him. With the, with the, what do you put with the, with the weeds in it? Uh, grappa. Grappa, yeah. They send you. Uh, grappa. And, and grappa could make your can fly in the air. It could un unscrew your navel. Your ass could fall down when you drink grappa. And he would give us a little shot of grapes. Let's have a, let's have a little, little grappa. He was practically Mrs. Mouth, for Christ's sake. A grappa. <laughs> Three o'clock in the morning after the Slate Brothers, we went over to his house and he'd sit there and go, uh, well, where's my wife? Make, make some pasta, for Christ's sake. Make some pasta. That's all over. So now we go to a classy restaurant. We used to go to, uh, not the, not the Deutsche Vita, the, uh, the other one, the, with the, with the, La with Scala. The, no, with the, yeah, 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 the, yeah, yeah, La Scala, with the, with the blackboard, yeah. And we go in, and they had a blackboard for the menu. Yeah, we're gonna, where we're gonna, where we're gonna, and Ricardo and I would be there. Now, Tony Quinn could not say hello to you. You know many actors that do this. Whenever he saw Ricardo and I would be together, and we'd sit down at the table. We're gonna have dinner tonight. This is wonderful. My family, my these are my people, my people. Ricardo, I'm doing a movie in August. You're gonna be Eddie and Don. You're gonna be Frank. You're gonna be Frankie. That's the movie. It's gonna be great. We're gonna be great. Both go home that night. Ricardo, you're gonna be Louis. And I'm gonna be Frankie. We're gonna be in a movie with it, with Tony. Isn't it? Yeah. Don, this is great news, great news. This is wonderful for both of us. Wonderful, boom, dissolve. Two weeks later, we go out to dinner. Oh, I'm with my family, this is so great. Ricardo, you're gonna be Phil, and Don, you're gonna be Al. And I'm doing a movie in September. We're gonna be together in the movie. Go home, Ricardo, you're gonna be Al, I'm gonna be Phil, we're gonna be in a movie together, boom. Man did that to us every time, and like two schmucks, every time we bought it, we'd call each other. And we're never in the movie. Never, never. Now, dissolved. Now, he takes me to, this is something, takes me to USC, to the university, he says, uh, uh, the, the, the guy that does, uh, you know, sign language, uh, from, me, from France. Uh, oh, Marcel Marceau. Marcel Marceau. It's called a mime. Marcel Marceau. Shut up, John. Marcel Marceau. She said, you know, Don, we're going to go see myself. Wait a minute, stop, stop. What? You start this by saying that Anthony Quinn is going to take you to see okay. Marcel Marceau at USC. Okay, okay go. Anthony, Quinn, Anthony Quinn is going to take uh, me to see with my wife and I and his wife to see Marcel Marceau, who was in town and was a good friend of his, to see him do, do his mind at USC. I said, you know, Tony, I, you know, that kind of stuff, I, I'm not too crazy about it. You're going, to, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to enjoy it. We get there, we sit down, ladies and gentlemen, Marceau, Marceau, and he comes out. And Tony, this is going about a half hour, and he's on We say, you know, Tony, uh, you know, Don, we ought to we ought to go, we ought to go outside. I can't. Yeah. This guy's making me nuts. You know what I mean? So I don't say nothing. We get up nice and go to the door. We stay in the wall. I can't take it anymore. Guy's making me crazy. I said, okay, okay, go outside. He says, listen, you gotta do me a favor. We're gonna go to a scholar after he gets through with his bullshit with that boom and the boom. And you gotta talk to him. He wants to be in a movie with me. <coughs> I can't, I can't put this man in a movie. You talk to him, because I, I'll get too crazy. I, you, 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 in your funny way, you, you, you could say something. He said, gee, Tony, just do what I tell you. Get to the place, Marcel, Marcel comes in, sits down. Tony says, uh, you, you want the, uh, well, I'm, 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 I'm a carat the wine, 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 wine. Brew bread, 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 bread. And the butter, and the oil, butter, oil. Boom. Marcel, Marcel. Sitting there, little tiny guy. 
Tony says, go ahead and tell him, tell him for Christ's sake, get it over with, though. I said, oh, well, Marcel, uh, I enjoyed your show tremendously, sir. And, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Tony says, you know, it's a joke. He says, but the, uh, he don't think you'd, you'd, you'd be right. Tony, isn't that right? You know, he don't think you'd be right for the movie. That's correct. That's what I said. And Marcel Marcel says, I don't understand it. Why can't I be in the film? And, was, and, and Tony went, oh, you think? I don't understand why. I think it'd be excellent. And that's the story. <laughs>